Okay, we're gonna record a demo video of another Atari punk console I built. Uh, this is going to be uh, using the joystick here uh, to basically be manipulating two pots inside. Uh, you've got your output jack, uh, you've got spring-loaded joystick, so your X and your Y will spring back to place. Uh, trim pots here to um, manipulate where center is on the pot. And uh, see so volume control. Uh, <laughs> Jack here we'll get into in a second. And switches to uh, take off the springs so you can leave it loaded in one spot and I'll show you how those work there. Uh, this is a very very tight layout inside so uh, uh, no room for battery. And so we have the jack on the side and we have the battery compartment. And I see the same finish. Try to get that as good as I could in there. It's still a little, it's a little chewed up but it works so uh, I guess it's basically like your key too because this isn't going to work without this guy so let's see you can get that plugged in there and turn our battery on and we get our power light goes on off and so let's go ahead and let's get this thing plugged in we're going to use the uh, echo base and the little mini twin. Now the echo base, the delay is not on now. Uh, we just have the, uh, the Atari Punk console doing its thing over here. Right now, this is set up as a stutter control, and this is set up to change your pitch. And if you press both of them, you get a different sound. So, one, two, three, four. Some delay in there.
Okay, so now we're going to change the trim pot here, and it will change the stutter control to a different kind of control. the uh, Atari Punk console. Whether you're making some kind of whacked out music or you're doing a film score or whatever, uh, it'll give you some pretty uh, funky sounds. Get yourself a Atari, get yourself a delay, get yourself some kind of amp, and you're ready to make some crazy noise